Okay, so we'll get going. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. I am drinking from a very um, understated coffee mug, a very, well, we could say rather bland, um, kind of almost goes with the uniform here. And it's understated because we are heading into a season that's all about simplification. It's the season of Lent. I know, I know, we just finished Christmas. And yet, uh, just as we had the shortest ever Christmas, this is going to be the the earliest ever Lent. So as you watch this, depending on when you're watching it, uh, Lent begins with Ash Wednesday, which is two weeks away. And I want to take a few moments with you today to talk about uh, the impact of Lent on our lives. You know, for many of us, there's a there's a question, one question that's associated with Lent. You know what it is already. It's what are you giving up? <laughs> giving things up for Lent, whether they be food or drink or habits like, you know, being online or video games or whatever it is, is a form of fasting. We give up, we fast. Uh, we're going to hear in the gospel reading on Ash Wednesday, Jesus talking about three disciplines. He talks about fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. So giving to the poor over and above what you regularly give. And these are the three disciplines of Lent, and we tend to focus on, on fasting. Nothing wrong with fasting. Jesus says, when you fast. So he presumes that we're going to fast. But here's the challenge. So Lent, Lent is... is <sighs> Lent is a season that should change our lives. Like Lent is a season that should we should go through and come out the other side different. And so I want to extend an invitation to you that is linked to the invitation that the Archbishop is extending to everyone in the diocese. And that's an invitation to engage with your faith, perhaps in a new way for the first time or a new way for, for a long time. And that is to be involved in some experience of a small group in the parish. What what do we mean by small group? A small group is a group of uh, four to six, eight people who would meet to talk about faith, uh, to perhaps undertake some kind of a study, to engage some uh, material, whether it's a book or a study, watching something, watching a talk online. There's all kinds of different ways that you can have a small group experience. And what happens in a small group is that as we as we share faith together, sometimes we we end up uh, engaging with faith in a way we've never done before. Because when you have to kind of put words to something, we're forced to own something. When we have to articulate it, I'm sure you've experienced this as you think through and and learn to express yourself. We make connections for ourselves. It's like wow, that that was neat. Uh, we're going to learn from other people as we listen to them. And we're going to form spiritual friendship. This is what happens in small groups. We form friendships. We get to know each other. We begin to help each other uh, struggle with questions, struggles with issues. Uh, uh, We help each other find answers. We come to know each other. We even begin to love each other. Imagine. Um, (laughs) When we say that, we're supposed to love each other. But it's very difficult to do that when you're in a church filled with 200 or 300 people. Uh, we need a different expression of church, which is about these smaller groups. Someone once said that a church begins to renew when people move from sitting in rows to sitting in circles. And whether your small group meets in a circle or not, it doesn't matter. But it's that dynamic of actually turning towards one another and engaging one another, which is so different than what is typically or can be, not typically perhaps, but it can be a fairly anonymous experience of church as we sit in rows facing the front. Um, so in every instance of, of, of spiritual uh, transformation of a parish or parish renewal, if you scratch the surface of what's happening in those churches, every church will have some experience of a small group. Our Archbishop put out an invitation to all of our churches a few months ago that in preparation for Lent that we would plan to set up a system of small groups, some experience of small groups in our parishes and invite our parishioners to engage in them. Now, thanks be to God, over the last two years, our parish leaders have been 
implementing different experiences of small group. And so we actually have a surprising number of people actually already experiencing small groups. In fact, we did the numbers, we got the numbers about a month ago, did the math. And what we found is, is that the unique individuals, so not, there are some people who are in multiple experiences of small groups, but if you look at all the unique individuals involved in small groups already in our parish, in proportion to our Sunday attendance at Mass, we were already at 29%. Now, that's actually extraordinary. You see, if you've been involved in Alpha, Alpha has small groups. After the meal and after the talk, people go into small groups. We've, for uh, uh, over a year now, been having our, our adult catechetical pro uh, program uh, called Monday Night More. That meets in small groups. We have an online group, which is also a small group. Uh, we have other iterations of small groups, uh, different support groups, and we are planning to implement several new small group um, small group groups. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, during Lent, so as the as the the Archbishop has has has, has invited us. So here's here's what's happening is uh, after in in the second week towards the end of the second week of Lent. We're going to be starting a small group on Thursday evenings. And so that will happen throughout Lent. We've got a particular focus. You can find out more about this on our, on our website. We are starting a new, a new season of Monday Night More this following Monday night. And look, all of our small groups are ready and willing uh, to engage new people, to receive new people. So here's my encouragement to you. As you think about Lent, as the Lent comes closer to the horizon and you begin to think about what can I do, how about making this the, the a unique experience of Lent by engaging in a small group? We have small groups that meet in the mornings, and we can, if there's enough demand, we can have ones in the afternoon, and we've got groups that meet in the evenings. Uh, please give that some consideration and make that a part of your whole experience of Lent. Now, I've got lots more to say about what's happening in Lent in our parish, including our Lenten parish mission and a special preaching series, but we'll save that for a later date. Uh, please give some consideration. It's an amazing experience of the Christian life to share faith, to share lives with, with one another. It can make an incredible difference. And in what's Lent all about than making a difference? Thanks, everyone, and God bless. Mm -hmm.